Praise the Lord. Kids are dismissed. Last week we had 23 in that class. We, are, we definitely have to have the building. Amen. We want all of you guys speaking that with us. I don't come up just to share that for you just to hear it. The building must come. Amen. It's not a maybe thing. We got to have it. And I need all of y'all saying the same thing, driving down the road in your car, in the shower. A living faith is blessed. We have the land and we have new buildings with classrooms in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, let's go ahead. Everybody stand up. We're going to worship God with our graduates now. Praise the Lord. Lift your right hand, your left hand. We're going to go ahead and enter into the presence of God. Hallelujah.
far away from him he loved us he loved us before we did one thing one thing for him and then Jesus prayed in John 17 he said father I pray that they may know that you love them even as you love me God loves you the same as he loves Jesus I don't care what you've done don't tell me what you've done it don't matter what you've done it matters what Jesus did amen his pub, his display of love on the cross amen he said, Father, forgive them. They don't really know what they're doing. Amen. And his arms were wide open to receive us in. Amen. He didn't say, I hope they get better. I hope they do better. He said, no, they can't get any better. I'm going to go ahead and make a way. He's the way maker. Amen. No other way, he said, to get to the Father except through me. How many of you are glad about Jesus? Amen. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God, the Bible says, has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. That same love. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Let's do that a cappella with no instruments. If we could, the chorus. Your love never fails. Amen. Everybody sing that. Lift your hands up and worship God. Your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up. And never runs out on me. Your love. Your love. Your love never fails and never gives up. And never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up. And never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up. And never runs out on me. Your love. It's your love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Never runs out. Never runs out. Never runs out. People might run out. But God's love never runs out. Amen. People may fail you, but God's love will never fail you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, by the Spirit in here today, by the Spirit right now, there's someone or maybe a few. Some of you have felt like you've been failed by people too much. Too much. What I'm telling you today, it's not people that is your answer anyway. It is God that's your answer. If people have let you down and let you down and let you down and left you discouraged today, I want to pray with you. If that's you right now, that people 
you people have run out. People have run out. But God is never going to run out. If anybody right now needs encouragement, needs prayer, people have left a scar. The Bible says He heals the brokenhearted. How many of you have had your heart broken by people before? Anybody? Come on down, sister. Come on down. With your hands up, come here. I want to pray with you right now. Your heart has been broken by people. Amen. God loves you. God loves you. Amen. Praise the Lord. God loves you. Come on. Come on. This is what God wants. See, God wants to minister life to you. You can stand in front of me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead and stand in front of me, brother. Amen. God is a healer. Amen. The Bible says He heals the brokenhearted. Hallelujah. And there should, I think there's a few more. I think right now by the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit say there's a few more. He can supernaturally heal your hurts. Amen. You may have people, see people are going to let you down all the time. And Jesus said this, forgive and you shall be forgiven. Love them with God's kind of love. Amen. And there's supernatural healing that takes place. Super might be your might be parents from the past, might be friends from the past, pastors, preachers from the past, anything from your past that you know that you have not let go of. Praise the Lord. There's a couple of more right here. Anybody else? Praise the Lord. Come on down, because you know right now there's supernatural strength to overcome this. Amen. This is, is not, and this isn't something we have planned. This is by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit speaks to us and he says right now today that ends in your life amen that ends today it ends today it ends today because God loves you his love never fails never fails he's not going to let you down today you're going to think about that thing it's going to come up come on in sister yeah, they'll let you break through here amen hallelujah because see healing takes place today amen hallelujah we, got, we don't have an agenda here whatever the Holy Spirit wants to do is what we do amen Hallelujah. The past hurts and failures of people in your life and the people that may have run out on you, great news. The song says, God will never fail you. Today, He is more than enough. We've already had a word from a student. He's more than enough for every need that you have. Every need you have today. And He wants to not leave you disappointed today, but today that hurt is going to be supernatural that it just, I didn't never think I could get over it, but you can get over it today. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Healed in Jesus' name. Supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Right now from this day forward, healed. Supernatural heart healing. The heals the brokenhearted in the name of Jesus. Healed by the power of God. Supernaturally, God going right now to the root of it. Don't think you're going to feel it on the outside. It's in the Spirit. In the Spirit, it's being healed up. It's being healed. The wound is being healed up right now. Super Supernaturally, in the name of Jesus, right now, healed by the power of God, the love of God fills your heart. Hey, hallelujah. They talked, they said some things. God said a whole lot of things. Now, His love, His love is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. It'll manifest, it'll well up. In the times that this thing tries to come back up, you'll just say, No, my God never fails me. My God never runs out on me. And I forgive that person. I forgive them right now. And and I let it go in Jesus' name. I let it go in Jesus' name. Love. God loves you. Oh, man, God loves you so much, so much, so much because He chose to love you. And right now, just choose to say, I'll just let it go. I'll let it go, and I'll let God take that from me, and I'll just give it to Him. And every time you think about it now, just say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that you have this right now. And right now, healing by the power of God in Jesus' name. Healed on the inside, from the inside out, spiritual, supernatural healing and power working right now in Jesus' mighty name healed supernaturally the hurt that you thought would never leave it's gone down it's gone right now right now right now god jesus said i'm not going to let you down and i'm not going to fail you right here he's the healer it is forever forever healed in jesus name forever healed in jesus name forever nothing on the outside has to change but on the inside there's just a heart change there's a thing on the inside that's being tweaked right now by the holy spirit and it right now supernatural healing supernatural joy wells up on the inside joy that you hadn't been able to tap into because of certain things 
right now, those people are going to be no longer a hindrance, no longer a hindrance, but they're going to be one of your greatest victories, says the Lord. One of your greatest victories, says the Lord. Those things that have been holding you back, you've been set free from, and you'll run your race fully in Jesus' name. Fully running your race as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miss Thelma's healed by the power of God in super. Oh, it's on the, yeah. <laughs> on the inside. On the inside, the power of God is working right now. Spiritual surgery. Spiritual surgery in the name of Jesus. Binding up any wounds that are there. Binding up anything of the enemy. Binding up anything. He brings it back up and you say, no, 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 I'm healed of that. I'm healed of that. I'm free from that forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Healed right now. Supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Inside out totally 100% right now. Spiritual supernatural deliverance from the past hurts the past failures hallelujah keep your eyes on jesus he's the author he's the finisher of your faith and he will take you from glory to glory to glory to glory you have not seen your best days they're in front of you so if you stop looking back and keep on looking forward you'll see the great things of god you'll see the things of god manifest but do not let do, do not hold on to anything throw off every sin every weight that does easily beset you and run run forward looking forward fixed on jesus hey glory to god on the inside the power of god's working right now hallelujah spiritual healing in jesus name hallelujah healed by the power of god hallelujah hallelujah you won't figure it out you won't figure it out and you won't figure out why don't ask why don't ask why stop that don't ask why 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 don't ask why just say thank you father that i am healed right now supernaturally by the power of god power of god you can't answer everyone else's mess but god can fix yours hallelujah people can make decisions and they can do things the wrong way but know this says the lord i've already made a way for you i've already been the one who said i'll never leave you and i'll never forsake you says the lord his love his love is going to manifest more and more and more, more and more and more. People of failure, Jesus said, I'll never, ever, ever leave. I'll never forsake you. In Jesus' name, that love is going to manifest more and more. The more you fellowship with him, the more you rely on him and his love, the more and more you'll see that love manifest in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Supernatural. Supernatural supernatural <laughs> yeah it's gonna be supernatural amen because on the outside you don't think you can figure it out it don't look like a way that can be made but jesus makes a way he makes the high places flat and he makes the path this crooked places straight in jesus name and he will open up a door make the path straight you'll look up in a couple of years and you'll say how could this have ever happened how could this have ever happened how could i be made so free to have been freed from my past and you look up and say i am free indeed free indeed thank god almighty he has made me free right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah what's he needing prayer for be happier is he born again that's if he's born again you born again would you like to accept jesus today today right now he loves you Praise the Lord. We're going to raise. Amen. I'm going to need a translator. Amen. Translate right now. Amen. Amen. Tell dad. Tell dad. You're going to lead your dad to Jesus. Amen. Amen. You're going to do that right now in front of the whole body of Christ. Amen. Now, I don't speak Portuguese, but I can speak in tongues. Amen. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to translate right now. Say, Father God, let him, tell him to repeat this prayer and ask to. Oh, amen. Go ahead. That's all right. Say, Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name. Your word says, if I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, I will be saved. I do believe. I do confess 
that Jesus is Lord of my life right now and I am born again I am I am a child of God right now I become way more happy <laughs> you don't get no more happy than this brother amen you're a child of the most high God amen the Bible says if you do what you just did you're born again you believe you confess and Jesus did the rest amen hallelujah God is good amen God is good God is good thank you father supernaturally divine ordering his steps directing his path I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that he hears a voice behind him saying this is the way walk in it in Jesus name and I thank you father God when he goes back to Brazil he's a brand new creature in Christ Jesus and he is made again today just just as the image made in the image made in the likeness of Jesus as he is so are you in this world says God and right now you'll go forth you are the light of the world city on a hill that cannot be hidden in Jesus name amen 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 hallelujah amen <laughs> hey that's good right there now that's good that is good everybody say that's good that's real good amen Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I don't know if you can beat that. Amen. Praise God. Well, Father, we thank you today for every person, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name that there is supernatural healing for the believer. For us, Father, to tap into supernatural strength, supernatural power. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. We thank you, Father, right now in Jesus' name for every person that was in attendance today. I thank you, Father God, for a supernatural word and a supernatural revelation that every person leave changed in Jesus' name. Everybody say Amen. Glory to God. Turn in your Bibles real quickly. I just want to encourage you real fast. I'm going to take 10 minutes. How many of y'all know I can talk fast in 10 minutes? Amen. I can talk real fast. I can say a whole lot of things real fast. Amen. So turn in your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 12. I mean Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2. All of this is going in line with Bible college today because we're celebrating them. Go to the title, Tim. Title of the message. Title of the message here is Word Up. Everybody say, word. word. Uh. Everybody say it like you mean it. Say, word up. Word. Say, word up. Amen. Now, what you got to do, you ever heard that saying, man up? Before you can man up, you got to word up. Amen. Before you can cowboy up, you got to what? You got to word up. Amen. Before you can be built up, you got to word up. Amen. And here's the thing. A lot of people are going to church. A lot of people are doing religion. Religion is not what it's about. It's about being filled with the word of God. Amen. I have a brother back home. He emailed me, and I told y'all this story a lot. I prayed for my brother 16 years. When I got born again and got in church, my whole family thought I was crazy. I was a regular at Riverboats in Louisiana. I was drinking a case of beer every day, and I got born again. I met Jesus. I did not get good. And I prayed for 16 years for one of my brothers. And now, one, that same brother I prayed for 16 years sent me a long email. And his whole email was, I've been seeing what God's doing. I've been seeing how God's blessed you. I've been seeing what God has done over the years in your life. I think it's time for me to get in church. I emailed him back. I said, no, it's not time to get in church. It's time to get in Christ. Amen. And I said, here's what you need to do. You don't need to just get in church. You need to get in Christ. Amen. And here's the deal. More importantly, not even just going to church after you get saved is the answer. It's getting in His Word. Amen. And the Word of God. If you're not full of the Word of God, you will live a defeated life in some areas of your life. Oh, you can go to church every time the doors are open. And if you don't know the Word of God, the Word says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And I got to thinking about Bible college, and I remembered a lot of favorite things that I had from Rama Bible Training Center. This is the Bible I used at Rama. And uh, you can see this, uh, it's uh, the Bible. I, you know, they say a Bible that's falling apart usually belongs to somebody not falling apart. 
Amen. So if your Bible is too pretty to look like this, amen. You, if you, I mean, a lot of people got a Bible too pretty they can write in. Man, this thing's all... But here's the deal. This thing is your life. This is not a book. This is not a book. It is a person. Amen. And what I wanted to do today for just a few minutes is to encourage you, fill yourself up on the Word. This diploma they receive, there's no anointing that comes with it. There's no special anointing. They just set aside some time to get filled up. Say amen. And I mean, I tell you what, any time that there's the Word going forth, make sure you're there in place to receive. Amen. Amen. I, when I first got born again and I got saved and my brother, I told him this. I said, man, here's what you need to do. And now he is teaching. He was actually was just recently teaching the Bible college and career class over the church in town. And I mean, got excited, got on fire for Jesus. Amen. Sixteen years of prayer, but now he's getting in the Word. Amen. How many of y'all know the Word is what changes things? It changed my entire family. I have a nephew, this all-state pitcher in, in Louisiana, and they took a picture. Shreveport Times took a, took a picture of my nephew that, that was pitching. He's an all-state pitcher. And they took a picture of him, and what he does between every inning is go behind the mound and pray. See, that might not mean nothing to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, none of my... I agree, people say, would you grow up Baptist? Did you grow up Methodist? Are you Catholic? I wasn't none of that. I was heathen. <laughs> What'd you grow up? I grew up heathen is all I was. Amen? Didn't grow up in a church. Didn't grow up going to church. And a lot of time I thank God I didn't grow up in church and get a bunch of religion stuffed on me. But what I got was a real relationship with Jesus. My family started seeing it. None of my family went to church my whole life. Now they're all in church. One of them's praying between innings and making all state. The other one's teaching. The whole family now has done gotten in. They're not all perfect, and they need a lot of victory in a lot of areas, but I know they're all on their way to heaven. Amen? And I tell all of them all the time, here's where your victory's at right here. If you don't know the Word, you will live a, live a defeated life. Amen. Now what the Word says, Hebrews chapter uh, 1 verse 2, Hebrews 1 verse 2, real quickly, I want to go fast. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry, but I know some of you are, I can already tell. I'm all, uh, how long is he going? I don't know. <laughs> ask, the, ask the members, amen. They'll be like, just hold on it, just, just don't get in a hurry, amen. We had a lot of extra stuff to do today. Amen. How many of y'all think the Word's important enough and valuable enough, valuable enough to, to receive the Word? Amen? Amen. I don't have a lecture for you today. I don't have three points and a poem. We got the Word of God. Amen? It's alive, living, and active, and it'll change you forever. Amen. Hebrews 1 verse 2 says, As in these days He has spoken to us by His Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds. Verse 3 says, Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his what? Power. God upholds everything by his Word. Amen. See, and if you, there's times in your life you can think right now, you should have failed, you should have collapsed, you shouldn't have made it through, but supernaturally, God by His Word upholds you. It wasn't your degree, it wasn't your profession, it wasn't your talents and your abilities. The Word that you put inside of you that you have been filling up on all of a sudden came back and God said, I'm going to uphold you and I'm going to carry you forth with my what? Word. He upholds everything thing with his what word and if God is upholding you with his word how I many y'all know you need to have some word to draw off of I tell people all the time I don't carry a Bible the Bible carries me oh yeah you better wake up I said I don't carry a Bible my Bible carries me amen you don't carry a book this is not a book it is a person it is Jesus he was the word made what flesh this is not ink on paper it is Jesus right here in your lap Say amen right now because if he's been holding me up all this time, I had people a long time. I lost every friend that I ever had. I lost everything that I ever had. My life before, 23 years old, and people say, how you been or how you holding up? I said, I'm holding up just fine. 
How are you holding up? I'm holding up because I'm spending time tearing up Bibles, going through, highlighting everything in the book. I want to go through and highlight my Bible. Some people go through with white out in their Bible. They say, well, God, don't heal today. Wipe that out. Speaking in tongues isn't for today. Wipe that out. Take that out. We don't believe that here. We don't believe. I believe the whole book. Amen. I mean, I believe the whole book. Every bit of it. And you say, you know what? This thing, if it's going to hold me up, I'm going to fill up on it. Amen. Somebody say, word up. Say, word up. Word up. Amen. You got to word up or you're going to be defeated. Now you might be a child again, born, you might be a child of God, born again by the power of God, but now the Bible says be transformed by the what? Renewing of your mind. Go over to Matthew 4. Let's get ready to go home. Matthew 4. Matthew 4, verse 4. We're celebrating these folks who have worded up. Amen. That's what I wanted to celebrate today. Man, because it excites me to have people that want a word, fill up on the word. Got a three hour class going on Monday night. They said, sign me up. Amen. Sign up tables in the back. In the back. Amen. And on Monday nights, we want, and here's the deal, I believe divine appointments today. I believe God has got you here for a specific time and a specific purpose. And here's what He wants you to do. He wants you to go through and go through and fill up on His Word because He has something for you in the future. Amen. Not just, see, you can go to the college just to learn more about the Word. But here's the thing. Some of you don't realize while you're doing it, we have to, we're going to have to have teachers for Bible college. <laughs> Who's going to teach? I'm not teaching every night. Man, we're raising up believers, raising up teachers. Amen. We have, we're going to have first and second year this next year. And we do Monday night. And we're going to have to do Monday night and Tuesday night. So we're going to have Sunday morning church, Monday night Bible college three hours, Tuesday night Bible college three hours, Wednesday night church. And Amen. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, send some teachers. Amen. He says, I'm going to train them right up amongst you. Some of y'all don't even understand what God's going to do with you in this church. Say amen. Don't be scared of it. Amen. I'm not a teacher. God can use anybody that he, if he spoke through a donkey in the Old Testament, you know he can talk through you. Amen. Amen. He can speak through you. Everybody say this. Say, God can use me. Can use you. Amen. Matthew 4 verse 4 says this. It says, Jesus said unto him, it is written. Say, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. But he shall live by every what? word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Amazing for Jesus to say this, and then most people don't know where their Bible's at. No, I didn't mean to step on... Move your toes, Greg. Amen. I didn't mean to step on your toes. Amen. I mean, a lot of people keep their... <laughs> it's Greg Lee from Minden, Louisiana right here, and his wife, Angel. They're from over there in Louisiana. Amen. In-laws are in town, Bill and Carmen Cocky, amen. Y'all got anything to say? Praise God. Visitors all over. We have Miss Denise and her husband right now. Just is Jerry Brown Brown in from, from Atlanta, Georgia, amen. People coming from all over the, the north, south, east, and west, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Matthew 4, 4 says this, though. It says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of God's mouth. And see, I was living, and see what you do, what this says right here is that you can live by natural means or you can live by supernatural means. Amen? You can live your life by natural things and take in bread. This means right here the Word of God is just as valuable to you as food. I mean, I know the Word of God is just as valuable as food. It's just as valuable as oxygen coming into your life. Jesus said, a man will not live this life if he don't live it by every word that comes out of God's mouth. I mean, I remember you, you, you thought you had it going on before Jesus, but then you found out you were the walking dead. Oh yeah, you were the walking dead. No life in you, no joy in you, no peace in you. You had the natural part down good. You ate bread just fine. T-bones, pretty good. Ribeyes, really good. Fried chicken, amen. Oh, you knew how to take the natural stuff in and then act natural. Because everybody says, well, we not, you know we all just natural people. I got news for you today. You can remain natural or you can partake of His supernatural Word and become super supernatural. Amen. I just got back from Superman the other day and you know what he did? He went and put on this cape, put on his uniform and he was turned into Superman. 
How many of y'all know the Word of God? It will turn you into a, another person. You got a word up, you got a fill up, or what the Word of God does, actually the Word of God is like a picture. And it shows you who you're really supposed to be. It's not a history book. It's not a good Bible lesson. The Word of God is a picture. And it shows you what it's supposed to look like. Y'all look at the puzzle here. It's a, ten, it's a thousand piece puzzle. How many of y'all remember puzzles? You got puzzles. You like to do puzzles. I got some pieces of a puzzle here. And you see what happens when you got a puzzle that you're going to put together. You get excited. How many of y'all remember? I, I remember when I was about 10 years old, I got this real big puzzle. I wanted some sports puzzle. And my mom and dad, they had it sitting out there. And I got real excited. How many of y'all, when you're sitting around at Christmas, you like to keep one of those uh, plastic bags real close. You got a plastic, you're putting all your uh, wrapping paper in there. As soon as you run wrap everything, you throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. And see, what happens is on a post on this, on, when you get a poster, they put a, how it's supposed to be the final outcome how many of y'all know the final outcome and Jesus said Jeremiah says this he says in Jeremiah 29 11 he says that I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you hope and a final outcome is what the King James says your final outcome it should look like this Amen. And when he Jesus steps up, He says, I've said all these things so that you can have all the things I've said. When you read your Bible, it is like a mirror and it's showing you the real you you're supposed to be. You're more than a conqueror. You're blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in, blessed going out, the head, not the tail, above and not beneath. Amen. By His stripes you were what? Healed. It is the image God gives us for us. But I remember that Christmas at 10 years old. I got that puzzle out. And I said, oh, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait to put it together. And I pulled out all the pieces. Hey, I had a whole lot of pieces. And all of a sudden, they had that little old bag. They had that bag sitting right beside me. And I took that thing and I threw it away. Watch it, watch it. Don't, you catch it, catch it. Catch it. And I had pieces all over the place. I had all kind of puzzle pieces sitting in front of me. And all of a sudden, later in the day, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to put it back together. I said, where, where is that? Where'd that box go? Because without the box, you just got a big mess. Oh my God. And I said, without the Word, without the Word that shows you what it's supposed to look like, you're going to spend your whole... I spent a lot of my childhood trying to put the puzzle back together. But I didn't have the picture it was supposed to look like. So I'm saying, if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, you're going to spend your whole life in a big old mess. Woo, isn't, it, isn't that good right here? Because here's the deal. A lot of people, their life is in pieces. This piece over here. This piece over here. And they don't spend any time looking at what it's supposed to look like. See, the Word is the image that it's supposed to look like. But if you throw away the Word and you don't put the Word in, you're never going to get it put back together like you're supposed to. And you'll spend your whole life, where does this go? I just don't understand. I'm so confused. The Word of God is the wisdom of God. And He'll give you wisdom in every situation. And you need to stay full and say, Word up. Word up, amen. You got to get the word and word up, amen. Put it in, it'll put all of your pieces back together. How many of y'all got in the word? You didn't just get in church, but you got in the word and you started seeing this fits here, this fits here, this is, oh, oh, God, this is, it's all coming to, it's all coming together. Oh, how many of y'all glad it all can come together? It can all come together. How many of y'all glad God knows how to put it all back to? Matter of fact, He don't. He is the picture. He, you get into His hands. He, you get. You are in His hands. And the, right now, just like the Jeremiah went down to the potter's house, He says, "Cannot I do with you, Jeremiah, as the potter does with the clay?" He says, "I'll take your life and I'll remake it. And next thing you know, I'm gonna make you look just like my son Jesus." Hey, hey, if you don't know what to say, say, hey, hey. say this, say, word up. Word up. I'm, see, here's the deal. Nobody can do this for you. Your wife can't read the Bible for you. 
Your husband can't read the Bible for you. My wife is so on fire for the Word. Danielle has index cards all over our house, and she's sitting there. they got coffee stains on them, cheeseburger stains on them, spaghetti stains on them. But she faithfully, for the 15 years, this, this year's 15 years we've been married, and for faithfully for 15 years, she gets up and puts the same Word in. I'm like... And sometimes I stay up real late at night, 2 o'clock, I mean late at night, and I mean I get in the Word at night time. She gets in in the morning, and I'm sitting here, I'm putting the Word in at night, everybody's asleep when I'm doing it, but when she does it, she'll get on the treadmill or over there doing something like, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack him. I say, God, look at this. <laughs> Jump under the cover like, can't you do this in the uh, 5, 4.30? She get up at 3 o'clock every morning, and she's just like putting the Word in, putting the Word in. Putting it in. Fifteen years. That same word. He says, I'm going to uphold you by the word of my power. If your life is going down, if it's going under, and if it's all in pieces, I got news for you. That God and His Word is what it's all supposed to look like. And if you don't spend time, you can come to church, you can shout, you can run, you can put on a fake smile and walk through the door. But if you're not in His Word, nothing is changing at your house. Say Amen. You get in His Word and you say Word up. You Word up and you fill up on the Word. Amen? Fill up on the Word of God and this is what will happen. You'll come and you'll be a changed man, changed woman of God. Religion hadn't changed anybody yet. See, people don't understand when we say that. God is not interested in religion. He is not interested. As a matter of fact, it was not His plan to form all these big old churches all these denominations and to do a, that's not the plan of God he says go and now I want to increase my family say amen I mean I'm glad you can become a child of God you can become a child of God Bible says we're heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus looks good for you doesn't it if you don't think you look good in Christ you have not seen him lately <laughs> How's it going? Well, under the circumstances, let me tell you. I didn't talk about your circumstances. I said, how's it going? You just ought to say, I'm blessed, I'm healed, I'm strong, I'm free, I'm redeemed. I am what God said I am. I can do what God said I can do. I have what God said I have. I am free. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Free indeed. Free right now. Why? You start putting the Word of God on the inside, filling up on His Word. Watch what happens in your life. Watch what God can do. He can't do anything if you don't put it in. No deposit, no return. Amen? No deposit. You can't. You got, it, it's, we're like a sponge. Amen? You fill up on something. And see, a lot of people, they fill up on the world. They watch the news, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, every kind of news they can watch. And when the situation comes and they're pushed, they say, looks hard. Looks like we're not going to make it. What's going to happen? It's, you never know what's going to They don't have any word to come out when situations push. So all they can do is say what they've been seeing. I don't care what the economy says. It's going to go good at my house. Amen. I don't care who's in the White House. Jesus is at my house. Amen. I don't care who's what's happening all around us. I know what's happening in us. Amen. And we are in revival right now. Say amen. amen. Say word, huh? Word. Say word. word. Say word. 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 Now say it. Kevin, say word. 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 Amen. See, Kevin said it right. He said word. Yeah, you ought to say it like word up. I'm going to word up. I'm going to fill up. I'm going to be changed forever. Amen? You've got to do this, like I said, for yourself, though. Nobody can make you pick your Bible up. First, you've got to find it, some of us. Where'd my Bible go? I was, I, I, I'll close on this. I was living back in Mendel, Louisiana. We were living in the uh, first house Danielle and I had. We, our ceiling fan went out or we wanted to put one in or something. And I had a cousin who was an electrician in town. He come over. I said, man, I don't mess with electricity. Ain't no way I'm touching that thing. I'm not going to put the fan up. You got to come do it. He's sitting there, and I'm sitting there. I had this uh, recliner. I'm sure that Miss Carmen gave it to us or somebody gave it to us because we didn't buy anything in our house. Amen? Everybody just blessing us with stuff, giving us stuff. We looked around one time, and the only thing in our house we had bought was a fluorescent light bulb. <laughs> and it wasn't because we asked for anything. People just wanted to be a blessing. They don't realize they were being a blessing because God was dealing with their heart. Amen? 
Well, uh, except for Miss Carmen. That's Danielle. Maybe. That's baby. Amen. She's going to bless her with just everything she can bless her with. Bill gets pretty put out with it. But why we got to bring all this stuff to Florida? <laughs> We're bringing all this stuff down here, filling up this car. My dad does the same thing. My, how many of y'all had parents? You get, what are we? He can come on down here and get it if he wants it. Amen. My daddy would my daddy stop bringing stuff. And they, but amen. <laughs> Off the subject right now, big time. I'm sitting there, and I said, man, come on. So this guy, he's my cousin coming. He was a member of one of the churches in town. He was in the church every Sunday, every Wednesday. Every Sunday, every Wednesday. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. This is 1999. And I'm sitting there and my, the, on that recliner that I had. I'm sitting there, and I have my Bible opened up like it always was and he is now it is on my phone so sometimes daddy he sees me on the phone and danielle say you on facebook daddy say uh, jacob say you in the you what you reading the bible dad you never know <laughs> what's he doing i don't what's he who's he talking you never know amen most of the time it's in the word though amen but i'm sitting there and i have my bible out and my cousin's sitting up there and he's doing this he's doing all this electrical stuff he said righty he said man let me ask. he said what you what you got your bible out for he said, y'all got revival tonight? Because at his, this church he went to, they had revival all the time on the sign. Revival, July 27th to July 29th. Your revival, revival, amen. They schedule revival. How many of y'all know you can't schedule a revival, amen? Revival lives on the inside of you. But in this denomination he's in, they thought you had to go to church or God would be mad at you. They thought that you had to be there on Sunday morning, Sunday night, or God was upset with you. So he said, why are you reading your Bible? What you got going on? <laughs> I said, man, I read my Bible all the time, every day. What do you mean? He says, man, he said, you know what he said to me? He said, man, you know, I need to, I need to get in my, I need to read my Bible. Exactly what he said. He said, you know, I need to start reading my Bible. He hadn't missed a service in five or six years. But he hadn't put any word in him in as long as he could remember. People are all over the body of Christ, just like I'm talking about right now. And some of y'all would go ahead and be honest. You'd say, you know what? I need to read my Bible. Don't look around, though, or nobody will know I'm talking about you. <laughs> Just keep looking straight and be like. Don't look. <laughs> Here's the deal, though. You got to put the Word in. Fill up on the Word. The Word is where your victory is. Amen? Last scripture I'll look at, and you don't even have to turn there. I won't, don't, Just on the screen. I want them to put it up. Psalm 119. 162. We're celebrating with our graduates today that they chose to word up. How many of y'all glad that these people chose to word up? Amen. And God knows who's wording up now. God knows who's coming full of the word, who's going to be able to come. And if you're not full of something, you won't be able to give anything out. Amen. Amen. We're, we're, we're going to ask all leadership to come through the Bible college here for sure. Amen. If you don't already have uh, uh, leadership or have Bible college training. But 119 verse 162 says this, says David speaking. How many of y'all think David loved God? He was a shepherd boy sitting out there, wrote all the Psalms. He killed Goliath. He did all this stuff. But he said something right here. He says, I rejoice at your word as one who finds a great treasure. How many of y'all think David valued the word? He's saying right there, he says, I rejoice at this word as the most valuable thing in my possession. The most valuable thing I have is no physical thing. It is this Bible right here. Amen. This word right here, I rejoice at this word. Amen. And that's why we people come in here, they don't understand what we're excited about. Why are you sweating? Why are you excited? Why are you talking? Because I get a chance to talk about the word. Amen. I'm not talking about a man. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the Word made flesh. And I get to speak on the Word. And I rejoice at the Word as one who found a great treasure. How many of y'all could imagine hitting the Powerball? Boy, I got the Powerball. Well, we've got, we got people that are run to stations. I was behind a lady the other day. Made me mad in the gas station. Taking all my, give me a number three, a number ten, give me a this, give me a Powerball, whatever. Yeah, they looking for riches. They looking for something. But how many of y'all know we got everything they looking for? Amen. Don't give me a, I have hit it big. Amen. I have hit it big in the Word. Amen. How many of y'all glad you done hit it big? Yeah, well, you ought to act like it. Because if you hit the Powerball, you wouldn't go. <laughs> you, 
You wouldn't nod off and they say, you got all Powerball numbers. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good to me. You might do like George did. Well, you might get excited. You got all of your needs met now because you hit the power ball, but the Word says they all met according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. How many of y'all can rejoice at that right there? How many of y'all can rejoice that you're an heir and a jo- get with God, a joint heir, and now everything? But we rejoice at your word. Say this with me one more time. Let's go home. Word, word up. up. Now say it with attitude. Say, word up. Word up. Amen. Now you got a word up. You got to fill up. And once you get excited about God's word, watch how things change in your life. Amen. 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 Anybody ready to go home? Anybody want to rejoice about the word right now? Lift your hands up. Hey! Yeah! Go ahead and rejoice. 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 I rejoice at your word. I rejoice at the word. The word of God is living. It is active. It is sharper than a two-edged sword. It is alive. It is alive. It is alive. It is alive in me. It is living in me. It is alive in me. It's living in me. I don't get it. I didn't get a religion. I got the word. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm when everything changed too. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? The word happened. The Word is alive. Amen? It'll turn your frown all the way upside down. And next thing you know, I'm trading my sorrow for His joy. Amen? Come in sad, leave out happy. Amen? How many of y'all know the Word of God to put a smile on your face? Amen? Hallelujah. Everybody bow your head real quick. I don't know everybody. We've already had one salvation today. Hallelujah. Who's to say we can't have a few more right now? Amen? Your life might be in pieces. I know one who can put it all back together. Your life might, you might not know how you're going to get it done. What I told you today is we know how you can get it done. Today. Today's your day. Today's the best day and the first day of the rest of your life. We know what it's supposed to look like for you. We know what it's supposed to look like and it looks like the Word. If you're not sure today that you know Jesus, Jesus said this, Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, I'm going there to prepare a place for you. So where I am, you may be also. Today, today, everything can change. Everything. See, we're not in here sweating and acting wild and crazy because we're hoping things are going to get good. Things already got good. September 19th, 1995, for me, everything changed. And today can be your day. If you want to make sure today that you're born again, that you're a child of God, you don't want to be religious, you want to be a child of God. You can go to church all day long, but it never will make you a Christian. Never. Now you should go if you are a believer, but here's the deal, go and don't make you one. Jesus is the only one that can make you a child of God. He said, believe, believe, and you will see the glory of God. Anybody not sure wants to be sure today? I want to pray with you right now. I want to make sure. If you want to make sure today that you're born again, you're you're on your way to heaven. Amen. And I mean, here's the deal. The enemy will be telling you right now, you don't need to do this. No, wait, wait, wait. No, you know what? When people see you do it in here, they're going to say, hey, do you see how people get excited around here? They're going to say, Look at them. They're going to chat with you, dance with you, hug your neck, love on you. But you don't know for sure right now and something in your heart sitting there beating real hard. That's the Holy Spirit saying, I love you so much. Give in to me today. If that's you, I want you to lift your hand. I want to pray with you right where you sit. Right where you sit. I see your hand. I see your hand. Holler anybody else. You leave here changed today. Everything just got very good. I know we went a little long today. We had a graduation. Amen. I'm not going to rush the Holy Spirit. He don't own a watch. Amen. (laughs) Amen. He's he's in no hurry to change your life. Amen. We're not going to be in a hurry for you to make the best decision you ever made. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Anybody else? 
The Bible says the angels in heaven are rejoice when one person comes to Jesus. One. Don't take everybody. It takes one person and every angel in heaven. The Bible says throws a major party. It's good news. Good news today. Good news. I want to pray with you right now. Go ahead and stand up. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Joanne, I want you to pray this with me right now. Say, Father God, I come to you in Jesus' name. Your word says, I believe, if I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, I will be saved. I do believe, I do confess right now that Jesus is Lord of my life. And I am forever changed. I am a child of God right now. God is my Father in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's exciting. I don't care. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, see, I told you. I told you they get happy. They get what they're gonna say. They know this is the best thing they ever did to. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the best thing you're ever gonna do. Ever gonna do. Ever gonna do. Anybody else? Go ahead and do it right now. Go ahead and make the decision today. Anybody over here? Anybody over here? Anybody right here? Anybody? I'll stay, I'll stay till tomorrow to get people born again. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a, there's a story about Br Brother Copeland. He flew all the way from, I think it was the United States, all the way to where? Africa. And they canceled his preaching meetings. He didn't get to preach to anybody and flew all the way to Africa. Canceled his preaching. And he was on the way back and he met this young lady. Led one person to Jesus. One. And the kid, Brother Cope, he got back in his office. He said, what in the world? Why did I go all the way to Africa? What's going on? Why did I go? He said, I wanted that one person. <laughs> See, God is very interested in your situation. And He'll send people across your path, but He won't do it forever. Oh no, he, he will give you plenty of chances. And some of us have had multiple opportunities to accept Jesus. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Best thing you've ever done in your life. Ever. Ever. Call out to Jesus. It changes your life forever. Amen. I did it when I was, I didn't understand, and you don't understand everything, but what you do know is this, you know it's real, don't you? Amen, look at that right there, knowing it's real, God loving on her, amen? Hallelujah, let's rejoice one more time. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Father, glory be to God, glory to God, hallelujah, God is good, hallelujah. Normally, we'll be shaking hands and standing at the door. We have cake. We have drinks. We have everything in the back of the building to help you. If you would, help celebrate. If you know any of these graduates, even if you don't know them, eat some cake with us. Amen. And we want you to hang out with us. We love hanging out around here. Went a little bit longer today, but actually we didn't. And uh, you guys up here, I want, we want to get group pictures with you guys, Danielle and I do, and get, get Miss Angel to take a few more. You don't mind, Miss Angel, do you? Amen. And uh, thank you all so much for being here. God is good. God is on your side. Amen. I'm all glad God is for you. And the Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. Father, we thank you today for every person here. We thank you, Father, they're blessed. We thank you for these students today. We celebrate them. We celebrate with them today. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Go ahead, Greg. Strum something for them. Keep strumming. Let them. That's all I got. Amen. You can go home. Amen. Anybody else got anything? Amen. That's all I got. <laughs>